Yeah, I want the content to be edgy. I want to, um, that's what interests me. Um, something that make, unnerves me a little bit, hopefully will unnerve the viewer, makes me a little uh, uneasy. <laughs> I had a double interest in my own work in both painting and in printmaking. And by around 1970, I had pretty much given up painting to work full time in uh, etching. Kind of, I like I like to irritate people a little bit if it's possible. I, it, I think, which is kind of interesting. I think even though with all the, um, gosh, with all the movies, and theater, I mean, all this stuff going on, it's still possible apparently to to irritate people with. Uh, with paintings and drawings and prints, with the imagery. People get all upset and uh, don't want their kids to look at it. Well, I, I've, always had an, I've always had a love of painting, but they were uh, never able to physically do both at the same time, painting and printmaking. I had to devote myself to one or the other. So that um, I, coinciding with um, a frustration with the indirectness of printmaking, a real uh, desire to want to work very directly, which painting does. You make the marks. Uh, you see exactly what you are getting and change instantly. You can't do that in, in the etching medium. So in this particular one, I thought I'm dealing with childhood memories. Uh, making uh, my own crossbow, for example, or, uh, or building things, or burning tires. Well, it's basically the idea of um, putting images together in an unpredictable fashion that um, once they are kind of formed, in other words, when I draw these figures out in an environment, uh, they at some point begin to tell a story. Untitled Empty Every Night, which has to do with the, um, it's an oily waste can, which is what every print shop, every print studio has, one of these red oily waste cans that says empty every night. And it was an object that I wanted to paint in the painting and became a good title for the painting. And then it's very ambiguous too. Empty every night, what does that mean? Um, you dream every night, that kind of, supposedly you dream every night and then that kind of clears you up for the next day perhaps. What I found has been useful is doing large, larger than life uh, charcoal head drawings, out of, totally out of my imagination. So by doing solely the head becomes the idea for a full figure that I can possibly use in a painting. So I have uh, a series of these drawings, five or six right now, where one of them is a, is a, a figure with a strangling cord around its neck. In the sense of being edgy, I'm much more interested in that in this uh, other large painting I'm working on, which um, really has started out having to do with the seven deadly sins. So the whole thing is um, getting a little bit unnerving, but I'm ha it's having a great time doing it. I think the whole problem is to grab the spectator. You have to, you know, competition with all kinds of other art, and, and uh, I want to get attention just like anybody else, so I'll take it any way I can get it. So.